Hello, I'm Jung Eun Jung of Metacode, and I will be the instructor for the course Vision Deep Learning. I'm currently working as an AI researcher at an AI healthcare company, and I'm also a PhD student in applied bioengineering with focus in application of artificial intelligence. Today, our topic is Introduction to AI. In this lecture, we'll be covering the basic concepts of artificial intelligence. Let's take a look at the course outline. This course consists of nine total lectures. First lecture is Introduction to Artificial Intelligence. In this lecture, we'll define what AI is by explaining some essential terms. Then, we'll define what AI is and what machine learning and deep learning are. Next, in the second lecture, Machine Learning and Deep Learning, we'll focus more on deep learning. We'll clarify the differences between machine learning and deep learning. Since deep learning is a subset of machine learning, we'll delve deeper into the theory behind machine learning. As this course focuses on vision deep learning, we'll discuss the end-to-end -end image processing pipeline. The pipeline includes processing and analyzing videos and generating new videos. You'll be exposed to various software tools within the pipeline. After establishing a solid foundation of machine learning and image processing, We'll narrow our focus into vision deep learning. You may already be familiar with artificial neural networks. These are often used in computer vision tasks. We'll dive deeper into artificial neural networks. Then, we'll examine how to analyze results of neural networks. Next, we'll explore strategies to improve model performance based on analysis results. This course is divided into nine sessions, divided into three parts, which are color-coded. The first part provides introduction to machine learning and image processing. Then, in the second part, we dive deeper into deep learning. The final part is a bit more advanced, in which we'll be focusing on two important image processing tasks, classification and segmentation. If you guys are not familiar with the concept yet, don't worry as that's what this course is designed for. We'll dive deep into the details of different neural networks suitable for each of the tasks and also build, test, and deploy the neural networks for each of these tasks. We'll conclude the course by discussing the future of vision deep learning and the direction in which the industry is headed. We'll also discuss some relevant industry trends. Welcome to the first section of lecture one, Introduction of AI. The first section is called, What is AI? First, we'll be discussing the concept of AI, in which we give clear definitions of some of the common buzzwords. Then, we'll discuss the types of AI. So, what do we really mean by artificial intelligence, and also machine learning, and deep learning? These terms may be a little confusing if you're never exposed to these concepts during your studies in college and never had a chance to fully understand them. So, to explain what AI is, we'll start with the definition of AI. It's defined as research activities aimed at automating intelligent tasks normally performed by humans. To put it in simpler terms, AI is a field of research with the goal of automating any intelligent activities that humans normally do. We'll explain it further through a comparison. Machine is a tool that replaces human labor. So, what is AI? AI is the same thing, but for intelligent tasks. So, AI is a tool that replaces intelligent labor as opposed to human labor for humans. You guys are already probably familiar with AI through your interactions with ChatGPT. Other examples include automated chatbots that you usually see on most commercial websites, and also voice recognition services such as Siri and Google Assistant. Services like these that perform automated intelligent tasks are example usages of artificial intelligence. So, in summary, artificial intelligence is a field of study encompassing all research activities for developing algorithms or software with the goal of performing intelligent tasks. Now, we'll shift our focus to types of AI. So, within artificial intelligence, there are various types. Within this category are machine learning and deep learning, which you guys have probably heard as buzzwords on the news. 
Machine learning and deep learning don't fully define AI, but are only subsets of AI. To take a look at the timeline of development of AI over the years, AI is a field of research that has been going on since the 1950s. Then, modern day machine learning research started around the 1980s, and deep learning started around the 2000s and 2010s. Before machine learning and deep learning, there used to be other types of AI as well. We'll provide a specific example to help better understand how ML differs from traditional AI. Symbolic AI is defined as an artificial intelligence at a human level that handles knowledge created by programmers who provide explicit rules extensively. To put symbolic AI in simpler terms, symbolic AI involves programming computers to use rules and symbols to mimic human reasoning and decision making. This approach allows machines to perform tasks like problem solving and understanding language by manipulating symbols in a way that mimics logical thought process. To dive deeper into symbolic AI, let's take a look at expert systems, a type of symbolic AI. This diagram shows the expert systems. At its core, expert systems involve storing extensive knowledge from human experts and implementing programs that execute actions based on explicit, well-defined rules. These systems are termed expert because they rely on the specialized knowledge and rules provided by domain experts. Programmers meticulously encode these rules into the system's knowledge base, ensuring that the system can apply logical reasoning similar to that of the expert. So, they would encode information such as do x when y. So, having developed the system based on these rules, the goal is to provide information when asked by a non-expert. Consequently, when a user, who may not have expert knowledge, poses a question to the system, it processes this query using its rule-based inference engine. The engine applies logical deductions and rules to generate and return an informed response, simulating an expert's reasoning process. So, ChatGPT, as you guys know, answers all sorts of questions. Before the advent of models like ChatGPT, early chatbots functioned primarily by responding to a limited, predefined set of questions. These early systems essentially acted as automated FAQ systems where the chatbot could only provide answers that had been explicitly programmed into it. This approach is a part of symbolic AI, which relies on specific rules and symbols to process inputs and generate outputs. These systems are similar to the Windows Wizard, a help interface that guides users through a series of predefined solutions to their most common issues, but without the capability to understand or learn from new inputs. So, this type of AI, which operates based on predefined fixed set of rules, exemplifies symbolic AI. So, how are machine learning and deep learning different? Deep learning is defined as a method by which machines learn and process given data. In simpler terms, the machine takes in data, learns from it by identifying patterns and insights, and then uses what it's learned to make decisions or predictions. This approach is different from symbolic AI. Instead of programmers needing to define every rule explicitly, they provide the machine with data and the desired outcomes. The machine then employs algorithms to analyze the data and deduce the rules it needs to follow to achieve these outcomes, and that's what machine learning is. Now, moving on to deep learning. Deep learning is defined as a specific field of machine learning, meaning that it is a subset of machine learning. You may ask, what characteristics does it have that separates it from machine learning? It uses neural networks to learn from given data. These neural networks are designed to mimic the human brain to recognize patterns and make connections at a complex level. Now that we have somewhat of an understanding of AI, let's go deeper into the difference between machine learning and deep learning. So now that we know what AI is, let's answer the following questions. What are machine learning and deep learning? AI, as I mentioned before, encompasses a field of research for an algorithm and software that aims to replace intelligent human tasks. Then, within AI, there's symbolic AI. And machine learning is part of AI. And Within machine learning is deep learning. 
So, AI, generally referred to as the entire field of study researching artificial intelligence, encompasses a wide range of techniques and technologies aimed at enabling machines to perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. And machine learning is one of the methodologies within AI. Focusing specifically on teaching computers to learn from and make decisions based on data without being explicitly programmed for each task. The advantage of machine learning is that it allows computers to automatically learn statistical rules. So, what do machines learn from the data? They discover the statistical rules hidden within the data. So, what does it exactly mean to learn about these statistical rules? Before we go into that, let's explore another reason why machine learning has its own name and why it has become so popular recently. It introduces a second key characteristic of machine learning, which is that it overturns the traditional programming paradigm. Let's take a look at this diagram to see what they mean by that. In the traditional programming paradigm, which symbolic AI embodies, we input both the data and the explicit rules. Then, the model returns an output based on these inputs. Consider examples like Windows wizards, primitive chatbots, or even the AI opponents in games like StarCraft. During the early 2000s, AI functioned quite differently from how it does in the present day landscape of machine learning and deep learning today. Instead of learning from the data, AI systems were explicitly programmed with all the necessary rules and information needed to make decisions. This type of AI is what symbolic AI is, which operates on a rule-based systems. For instance, programmers would need to meticulously encode every conceivable scenario they could anticipate. Programming the AI to respond to these scenarios according to predefined rules. This method relied heavily on the foresight and comprehensiveness of the programmer's initial designs. The inflexibility of symbolic AI, while reliable within its defined parameters, often resulted in predictable and mechanical interactions. With machine learning, the paradigm fundamentally shifted. Instead of just inputting data and rules, we provide answers and data to the system. During the training process, the system analyzes this data and outcomes to learn and identify patterns. As a result, a dynamic model is created that can create predictions or decisions based on new unseen data. This process of learning and adaptation continues as more data is fed into the system. Let's examine an example to see the paradigm shift in action. For symbolic AI, imagine we're creating a simple program that adds two to any number given to it. When inputs are provided, the program simply adds two to these numbers and returns the results. This demonstrates the direct rule-based nature of symbolic AI, where outcomes are directly tied to predefined operations without any deviation or learning forward. So, upon given new inputs, the program would add two and return the results. And that was a traditional programming paradigm. So, how did the paradigm shift in machine learning? In machine learning, the rule isn't predefined by the programmers. Instead, data along with corresponding answers are fed into an algorithm to allow it to develop its own model. For instance, we might input data pairs such as 1, 3, 2, 4, and 3, 5 where the first number in each pair is the input and the second number is the correct output. While we as humans understand the rule here is to add two to each input to arrive at the output, the machine learning model learns this relationship through its own analysis. Through training, the model discerns patterns in the data and when presented with a new input, such as a number four, it can automatically infer and return the result six. This process of learning from examples rather than following explicitly programmed instructions is what defines machine learning. So that upon new input being entered into the model 7, 8, 9, 10, the model will output 9, 10, 11, and 12 corresponding to the inputs. 
and that is machine learning. One distinction between machine and deep learning is that it performs exceptionally well with structured data. To provide a brief overview of structured data, it is data that is organized in a predefined format or schema, such as in tables with rows and columns. Each column in the table typically represents an attribute, and each row represents a single record. We'll discuss further later in the lecture. In deep learning, which is a specialized subset of machine learning, is defined as one of machine learning tools that use neural networks to enable self-learning. Deep learning employs layers of algorithms called neural networks, inspired by the human brain, to perform tasks. These networks are capable of learning unsupervised from unstructured or unlabeled data. We'll discuss further on what these terms mean. So the point of deep learning is using deep neural networks. So instead of calling everything machine learning, what if we have a specific term for deep learning? Recently, people haven't been saying machine learning as much as deep learning. So why is deep learning getting such a spotlight when it's just a subset of machine learning? And we'll start with that discussion in the next video.